or today's tutorial is on problem 10.5 which is a helical compression spring is made of well tempered wire whose wire diameter is 0.2 inches and mean coil diameter of 2 inches the spring has total 12 coils and its free length is 5 inches and the ends are squared first of all let's discuss the terminologies that are used in the problem statement so the first terminology is wire diameter let's take a helical compression spring which is made from the wire when a straight wire is wrapped around a cylinder or a shaft to become a coil if this straight wire was converted to spring so the diameter of this wire is considered as wire diameter this distance is called as wire diameter now mean coil diameter let's say we have a top view of the spring like this this is that mean coil diameter this is external diameter and this is internal diameter of the spring mean diameter is the average of these two there are total 12 coils in the spring let's say this is the one coil this is the second this is the third and up to 12 coils then we have a free length let's say this is the spring and we have not exerted any force upon it yet so this length is called what free length of the spring now if you force the spring to get compressed its length will be decreased like this and you cannot call this length as free length and at the last it is given that the spring is squared what it means is that initially there was a helix angle all over the spring but due to some design requirements the helix angle at the ends is reduced to zero so this is called as squared spring so first of all we have will have to find out the solid length solid length is the length of the spring when it is forced uh, such that the coils of the spring will touch each other that is represented by ls in part b we are required to find out the force that will make the spring to its solid length and that force is called solid force represented by fs then at the last we will have to find out the factor of safety when the spring is forced to its solid length it is represented by n or ns or nd when design factor is equal to factor of safety uh, here this is the given data for this problem uh, now let's find out ls first and for that table 10.1 is used located to the third column of square or closed spring where ls is equal to d into nt plus 1 and the second row is for total number of coils so nt is equal to na plus 2 ls is equal to d nt plus 1 this formula is used for calculating number of active coils and this one is used to find out solid length of the spring so for ls put the value of d and nt that will give you ls is equal to 2.6 inches now to find out an a bring this two to the other side of the equality so n is equal to nt minus 2 nt is 12 so n is equal to 10 now let's find out uh, solid force as f is equal to kx uh, when solid force is, is applied on the spring then x will be equal to l naught which is the free length of the spring or initial length minus ls which is final length of the spring up till now we know the value of l naught and ls we don't know the value of fs and k so first of all let's find out the value of the k so k is equal to lower case d to the power 4 into g divided by a d cube and a the value of an a d and lower case d are known so to find out the g value use table 10.5 and there for oil tempered wire the g value is 11.2 mega psi so k is equal to 0 0.2 to the power 4 into 11.2 mega psi divided by 8 into 2 to the power 3 into 10 and that will give you k is equal to 28.4 per inch inch so put the values and the formula of fs which is equal to k into l naught minus ls so 28 into 5 minus 2.6 that will give you 67.2 pound force now let's find out the shear stresses due to solid force that is tau s which is equal to at fd divided by pi d cube into kb these formulas have been discussed in theory lecture so i will recommend those lectures present in the spring playlist so for tau s we must calculate kb value which is equal to 4c plus 2 divided by 4c minus 3 and here c is equal to capital d divided by small b so 2 inches divided by 0 0.2 inches that is equal to 10 so 4 into 10 plus 2 is equal to 42 divided by 4 into 10 minus 3 that is 37 so 42 divided by 37 is equal to 1.135 so putting the value of kb fs d and small d it will give you tau s is equal to 48.56 kilo psi now let's find out the factor of safety 
which can be represented by ND when design factor is equal to factor of safety and it will be more appropriate to represent it with NS but here I am representing it with ND so no problem with the representation so ND is equal to torsional yield strength divided by twice here we do not know the torsional yield strength and SSY is equal to some percentage of SUT the percentage value will be taken from table 10.6 and SUT is equal to A divided by D to the power M a and M varies are taken from table 10.4 so in table 10.4 for oiled and tempered wire spring M value is 0 0.187 and A value is 147 so SUT is equal to 147 divided by 0 0.2 to the power 0 0.187 which will give you SUT is equal to 198.6 now let's find out this percentage from table 10.6 so for hard and tempered wire before set removal it is 0 0.5 or 50% so 50% of SUT is equal to 99.3 kilopsi as factor of safety is equal to SSY divided by TOS which is equal to 99.3 divided by 48.56 this kilo PSI and kilo PSI get cancelled out each with each other so factor of safety is equal to 2.04 so we have found out all the required values one was FS which is equal to 67.2 pound force LS was equal to 2.6 inches and factor of safety is equal to 2.04 thank you so much for watching the lecture